Hello everyone and welcome to the Kalispell Warhawk Dynasty where today we return home as the Warhawks host the Nevada Wolfpack in this week's Mountain West Conference Clash. The Warhawks are the highest ranked they've ever been in team history, now number 10 in the country and they meet a team that has struggled this year with a 1-4 record. Kalispell meanwhile has not struggled, their defense has shown marketable improvement and Brandon Warren has changed everything for the offense. Welcome to week six from Kalispell, it's Warhawk football as this kick takes Belafonte to the end line and Kalispell starts at their 25 and making his third consecutive start is quarterback Brandon Warren who opens up here empty and it appeared they set up an option play as Warren keeps it for about four yards. This offense is coming off one of their most impressive performances in team history as the rush gets to Warren on second down and he gets sacked by Mike Barber who is the best player on this Wolfpack team and our biggest problem up front. He gets through again here, Warren chased by Barber, breaks contact and falls forward narrowly avoiding a sack. It's still a three and out. Here is the Wolfpack offense with quarterback Matt Ball under center. He will look to scramble on first down and slides ahead as Kalispell had a pretty soft look for him and he gets six. So far this season the Warhawks have nine sacks as a defense. Ball gets this pass away as Barry makes the catch and Jonas Barry gets seven. Nevada runs an up-tempo no huddle offense. Ball second down, looking downfield and intercepted. It's James Hampton. Ball thought he could somehow get this over the 6-2 athlete's head and that was not gonna happen. Hampton turns and meets the football and Kalispell takes over. Two tight ends here for the Warhawks as they will run the sweep outside. It's Kyle Thomas who leads the running back department in rushing yards, he gets three. Now they put two tight ends on the right side, they'll sweep it that way and Thomas again ripped down after a short gain of three. Carl Joyce, who didn't play most of last week, lines up slot right. Warren third and four, down the middle and off the mark for Hayden John Charles, who was well covered. And that's another punt forced by the Wolfpack defense. No score here in Kalispell as Ball sets up the screen. It's Dan White on the receiving end and he'll get out across the 50 yard line as the Wolfpack make their way to Kalispell territory. Second and five, they hand it now to Dan White who gets engulfed behind the line of scrimmage and Alex Hardy makes the play. Third down and seven, Kalispell sends the heat. Underneath here it's Wilson, gets a block and takes the ball up ahead for a first down. Good catch and run by Dwayne Wilson. Kalispell still stuck in this 1-5-5 package now thanks to the hurry up as ball picks up five here on the keeper. Warhawks did use a timeout to get out of their personnel and now they're in a three-man front. Only three on the rush, here's Ball looking to scramble and Kalispell has the spy in effect and he gets drilled by Hardy. Third down here for the Wolfpack and Ball again keeping on the read option. Met near the marker by Jameel Butler but he does get just enough. Wolfpack going compact this time. Here goes White off tackle as his fullback leads the way to the 10, sheds a tackle and heads out of bounds. Gain of 22. Kalispell with no outside contain as the fullback gets a clear path all the way to the safety Evans. It's first and goal for Nevada. Good drive going here. Ball looking to scramble and again he's spied and taken down. It's Alex Hardy. Ball shaken up on that last play, so here's the new quarterback, Jimmy Smith. And no one's open. Smith runs out of time. He goes down again. Kalispell all over the quarterbacks today, and that was Chad Moore. Smith still in the game on third down. Underneath for Jonas Berry, and surrounded by Warhawks near the five. He is a few yards short. The Wolfpack have scored first as Justin Colbert will now get a series at quarterback. He throws it quickly and this is Amante Jones on the catch for about nine yards. Justin Colbert has not played much the last two weeks but did throw two touchdowns a week ago. First and 10, Colbert's off the mark and his accuracy is normally not something we're concerned with. Second and 10 as Warren checks back into the game and Thomas again with not much room to work. Colbert the quarterback on third and ten. Here comes the rush. Colbert pressured and taken down for the big loss. And Colbert is shaken up on the hit by Terrell Reed. 
You need to be impressed with this Nevada defense so far as Matt Ball is back in at quarterback for them and he goes down again, sacked by Boogie Turner, the red shirt freshman. So Ball is back in the game and Justin Colbert also appears to be okay. It is a minor wrist injury for him. Ball third down, middle here for McDuffie, gets some room to run and picks up the first down, corkscrewing his way ahead for 15. The Wolfpack doing some damage underneath, now play action. Time here for Ball, he looks to scramble now as Kalispell gives up some yardage. And that is a first down again for the Wolfpack offense. The spy has to be a full-time deal it seems against Matt Ball. They have it here as he swings way outside behind the line and Dan White loses six. You're better off throwing that thing away. Second and 16 here for Ball, it's an empty set. Again, they work to the middle with Jonas Berry as they clear out some linebackers, and that's a gain of 12. Now it's a third and four, the blitz sent again. Ball trying to avoid the rush, and he's taken down, and the ball comes out. Nevada will keep it, but that is already the fourth sack of Matt Ball and Jimmy Smith in this game. It seemed Nevada had a good thing going, but they end up punting, and it's a very good punt that pins Kalispell inside their own five. Here is Brandon Warren standing in his own end zone as Thomas is chased, and there's the pursuit from Barber. It's nearly a safety. Barber, a big reason why this running game isn't off to a hot start. They'll give it to Thomas again as he runs away from Barber and still gets hit by him, and they get a little breathing room. Now it's third and ten, gotta be careful against the blitz, pass caught by Mike Harris, trying to fight for the first down and he fails. Kalispell with another three and out. What a job by this Wolfpack defense as the offense takes over now in Warhawk territory and ball goes deep, Jonas Berry for a 42 yard touchdown on the first play of the possession. Tyson gets caught with his eyes in the backfield and he can't recover. He doesn't have James Hampton's speed. It's now 10-0. And Callis spell hasn't looked anything like the team we saw a week ago. Here's Warren keeping as they get 12. But before that run, they had 13 yards overall as an offense. They'll try running here again and Thomas wrapped up in a hurry. The run game also looks completely different. Here's second down for Kalispell, six in the block. Warren shows off the big arm, looking for Jones as he overthrows him way downfield. That ball traveled around 63 yards in the air. Now Kalispell needs eight on third down. Warren to the sideline, and that is his precision to the boundary. Caught by Finley. Kalispell now in plus territory. Warren sheds a tackle. They're trying to run some option here, and the flip to Lee will get them four. But Nevada looks well equipped to stop Kalispell's option attack and their zone running. Warren now to the air and he gets the open look finding Mike Harris on the slant. They get 13. Warhawks finally in scoring range as they sweep Lee to the right side, shedding a tackle and still losing a bunch of yardage. It's a loss of six. Outside zone has been this team's bread and butter this season. Second and 16, Warren flushed outside, easily breaks contain, and tries to make a move, and that was risky. He fumbles it out of bounds. Kalispell keeps the football, now third and 10. Blitz sent and picked up. Warren short, here goes Joyce, and he's wrapped up. Could not evade the corner who was able to stick with him. Kalispell has to settle. At least they've scored, but it's 10-3 Nevada playing some good football here in the first half as Ball goes down again. That was Chris Harrison looping around. Second and 16, Kalispell in a soft look as Ball wants to scramble again, and he can't get past the line. It's another sack for Boogie Turner. Kalispell forces third and 18, and just a handoff here to White, and there is Turner again. I really want to see the strides he could take as a player this year. Already two sacks, and that was a great run stop. Kalispell used all their timeouts to get this opportunity. Now 36 seconds to go, and Joyce underneath only gets four. Kalispell not up to their explosive ways today whatsoever. They're running out of time, 13 seconds to go. Deep shot here from Warren, knocked away at the sideline intended for Carl Joyce. They have one more chance to get in field goal range. Here's Warren empty backfield. Down across the middle, it's Hayden John Charles hanging on for 23 yards. 
and Kalispell sets up for the field goal. Right before halftime, Jeff Child's kick is up, and it is good, 10-6 Nevada. It's been a very surprising half of football with neither offense playing all that well. We'll see if either offense can crack the code of their opposing defense in the second half. After last week's domination, Kalispell has a first half wake up call as they are unable to find the end zone and punted on their first four possessions. The Warhawks defense though has kept this game close as Nevada opens with a four point lead and possession. There is a 15 yard catch for Dwayne Wilson. So far from Matt Ball, it's been a lot of underneath passes and a lot of running from him as Wilson drops the ball this time. Third down now, and Nevada has to show they can handle these spots. Deep shot here from Ball, and double coverage fails. Knocked away by Jameel Butler. For the Warhawks, it looks more and more like this is becoming Brandon Warren's job. He keeps here on first down, heading to the outside, and he's able to outrun the contain for about seven yards. They've been very stingy in the running game, so it's up to the pass game to step up. A screen called now for Mike Harris, who's been the recipient of these tunnel screens early in the season. Kalispell new set of downs, and here comes Joyce. Setting up more option here to the right. Flip to Joyce dangerously. A lot of these plays have been far too risky for the four yards or whatever they've gotten. Another third and medium. Troy Lee stays in to help protect. Warren climbs to pocket and runs out of space. Now they're spying him, and Kalispell is stopped. Excellent defense here from both sides as Nevada takes over. Screen set up, and Bull isn't ready for it. He's taken down. Boogie Turner back at the one-yard line. It's his third sack of the day and his fourth tackle behind the line. Now they're crowding the middle as White heads to the right, and he's going to get them some breathing room here. It's a gain of nine. Kalispell still hoping to force a punt here deep in Nevada territory. Ball sidesteps the rush and drops it off to Dan White for a short gain. White now shaken up on the play, and the Wolfpack will have to punt. We still have only seen one touchdown in this game. Warhawks take over. Here goes Thomas, and again, nothing there. Outstanding job by the corner, and also Mike Barber, who has just been a game wrecker up front. Kalispell second and 13 as they've been one dimensional. Warren, quick throw to Carl Joyce. He makes the grab. Gain of eight. Again, third and medium for Kalispell. They're two of eight here on third down. And now three of nine, it's Mike Harris. Harris continues to do all the important things you ask a receiver to do. Play action now. Warren has time and looks downfield deep, and it's a touchdown for Carl Joyce. The lead goes to Kalispell at last. You need to respect the speed. Even a little underthrown, it's no problem for Joyce, and Kalispell leads 13 to 10. Can they keep the defensive pressure on ball? He escapes the pocket on first down, gets some running room, and moves the chains. It is a 16-yard run here for Matt Ball. Three receivers here in the game for the Wolfpack. Another blitz on the way. Ball gets it away for Wilson, who makes the grab, and the Wolfpack get back-to-back -back first downs. Now under center, here is Ball again to pass. Quick throw, caught by McDuffie, who is spun around by Alex Hardy. Gain of seven. Third and short for the Wolfpack. Four on the rush, ball again floating this, it's caught by McDuffie, and the Wolfpack continue to march down the field. A minute 34 to play in this third quarter, ball again throwing quickly for Hunter who gets away from Anthony Owens. Takes it inside the 15 and it's another first down. Kalispell can't stop these quick passes. Here's another one, Cook underneath, has the first and fights his way into the end zone, touchdown. This time they do it in the air and they made it look very easy, picking apart the underneath coverage. Nevada retakes the lead. As the Warhawks take the field, it's Justin Colbert now in the game and he'll throw it again quickly for Hayden John Charles who sidesteps a defender and continues to show what he can do after the catch. Once again from under center, up the middle, it's Kyle Thomas getting the opening but gets tripped up after a gain of 10. Brandon Warren returns for the second down in inches. It's a quick pass, again caught by Hayden John Charles. That's a gain of six. 
It will also take us to the fourth quarter. Kalispell's undefeated record now at risk as Nevada has come ready to play against our Warhawks. It's Kalispell football, second down and six for Brandon Warren. Rush handled nicely and the pass complete to Mike Harris in traffic. It's good for seven. Kalispell gets back into field goal range as they put three receivers on the right side. Warren short, here's Hayden John Charles, has a block from Jones, breaks a tackle, Hayden John Charles inside the 10. When he came to Kalispell, I compared him to Viking tight end Kyle Rudolph, but the more we see him play, the more I think he might look more a little like Rob Gronkowski. Here's first and goal for the Warhawks. Warren pulls it back, up the middle, finds his blocks and scores! Touchdown! Kalispell back on top. No one in position to stop him this time as he locates the blocking to get him six. Warhawks 20, Wolfpack 17, we have ourselves a good one. And here is Matt Ball back to the air. Jarrett McDuffie gain of 11. These linebackers got to close up these throwing windows. Ball first and 10, now a screen. And who's out there to stop it? It's Boogie Turner. Lost a three. The freshman's having the best game of his career. Third down now for the Wolf Pack, and ball is going down. Sacked once again, and this time it's Chris Harrison. Kalispell looking to close strong. They take over up three. Here goes Thomas, not getting much help. Call it a gain of one. Three of nine on third down. Kalispell with two receivers to the right. Warren has time, now goes deep for John Charles, and the ball knocked out of his hands and intercepted. Are you kidding me? What a play. Warren tried to hit him deep and underthrew him just enough. The safety knocks it out, and there's the corner hustling downfield, and the catch is made before the ball touches the ground. A highlight reel play keeps Nevada in this one, but they go backwards here. It's McDuffie losing a yard. Kalispell up tight in press coverage. Matt Ball on second down, airs it out and finds his man. Cook escapes Hampton, gain of 39. Hampton is a very talented corner, but press coverage is probably not what he's best at. Wolfpack quickly into Kalispell territory. Here goes Ball and the football's not free. Love scoops it up, but they still lose six. That time it was Nate Graham getting into the action. Now a tough third and 17, quick throw for Barry. And from here, they're probably still outside of field goal range. And sure enough, they're going to punt. On fourth and eight, kicking it away for Payne and he's gonna let this go into the end zone for a touchback. Kalispell would love for this to be the final possession of the game, but they haven't ran well today. Here's Thomas cut from behind, excellent tackle. Second down and seven, now they swap in Troy Lee. He'll sweep to the outside again and only gets one. Third down, Kalispell. You can't really justify a run here, and they won't run it. Warren third and six, pass complete to Amante Jones. What a difficult play that he makes look so easy. First and 10 for Kalispell. They'll bring Joyce in motion. He's covered up, and Warren can't go anywhere. It's no game. Wolfpack playing tremendous defense with the game on the line. Second down, swing out to Thomas. Makes one man miss, but only a gain of three. Another third and six. This one could clinch them the game. Warren sprints outside the pocket. Looks to the sideline, it's dropped. Off the hands of Jermaine Finley, and that would have ended things. Instead, the Wolfpack will get one more chance. They need at least a field goal here. The punt from Parks, fielded by Hammond at the 20. Picks up a couple blocks and a good return before he's lifted off his feet. So now Nevada needs a field goal, they have 90 seconds. Everyone's going deep. Matt Ball runs out of time, he's sacked. Boogie Turner gets his fourth of the game. That ties the Kalispell single game record as Ball spikes with a minute and nine seconds to play. Third and 18, now a screen for Hammond. They'll get what they can. And it's not a lot. Gain of five for John Hammond, setting up fourth down with the game on the line. Kalispell just needs to get this stop. 
Nevada looking for 12 yards. Ball throws short. Hammond drilled by Hayes, and this game is over. The Warhawks improve to 5-0 on the season. What a game here in Kalispell, and it wasn't the dominant performance we might have expected, but Kalispell's defense still put in a solid day's work. And they sacked Matt Ball 10 times after recording nine sacks in the first four games of the season. Boogie Turner etches his name in Kalispell history with his four sack performance, the most critical being his final sack on the final possession of the game. Kalispell gets a big win, and the offense today definitely was tested. I was impressed with the way Nevada handled our entire running attack. Nothing worked, and the pass game wasn't exactly easy. We had some missed opportunities, and also Brandon Warren underthrew a couple deep balls that I wasn't expecting. We know he has a cannon by that 63-yard pass. Yet the pass to Joyce and the pass to John Charles downfield were both underthrown. That interception was unlike anything I've seen. Hayden John Charles almost had a big touchdown, and instead it almost gave Nevada a chance to win the game. Kalispell with this win now leaps to number six in the country. Easily the highest this team has ever been ranked. I never expected this much success early in the season. But here we are, number 6 and 5-0. and oh. Next week we take on New Mexico, a team that I'm always a little nervous for because of our earliest meetings against them. When their skill players are dominant, they are not a fun offense to face. The option is always something that throws me off a little bit. And senior quarterback TJ Daniels is an excellent option quarterback. He's very fast, he runs with some power as well. And Kalispell will need to make sure they're on top of their assignments and they're not missing a lot of tackles. The speed in the backfield is also a major emphasis. They have one great receiver in Bobby Mason, but you know when you face a team like New Mexico, it's all about the quarterback and the backs. As far as their defense goes, their line isn't very good, but their linebackers are. So are their cornerbacks, so that could impact our option game and our pass game. I'm not sure what our approach is going to be yet. Here's a surprise this week in recruiting as Michael Dorsey is no longer locking us out. Apparently now the conference prestige deal breaker is no longer as big of a concern. Still, I'm not confident in this battle, but we have scheduled a visit. We do have some good news, however. Thomas Roberts visited today, and he ends up committing. I look at Roberts as a mismatch combo tight end, meaning he can block in line and catch the football for you. He has excellent hands, and I can't wait to pair him with Hayden John Charles. Jasper Holland, the quarterback from Idaho, ends up committing to Boise State and I have a good feeling he'll be a very good quarterback for them. As far as the rest of the board, I'm still going very aggressive for Baraka Frederick, as I hope to get a highly touted receiver into the offense for next season. Maurice Collins is favoring us over everybody, and that's excellent. And we are starting to get into the race here for kicker Rick Thomas. We've sent him the only scholarship offer. Dakota Bolton is another player we're getting more aggressive for, and we're in good shape for a lot of these recruiting battles. I feel good about recruiting early this season, especially compared to a year ago. Josh Thomas from Canada. We gave him a scholarship offer this week, and I have a good feeling that we'll be toward the top of his list fairly soon. And if you want to see the upgrades for coaching, here you go. I had one for everything this episode. One for Leon Daniels, who will increase the points we get for visits. And then for Steve Ross, our great defensive coordinator who has helped our defense tremendously this year. We're going to upgrade block shedding, one of my most important points of emphasis. And then for the offense, Paul Graham, we're just going to focus here on ball security. And that will bring this episode of the Kalispell Warhawk Dynasty to an end. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave your feedback down below and let me know, who would you compare Hayden John Charles and his skill set to? I'll see you all again soon. Have a great day.